Thomas and the Swans One day, Percy was bringing some trucks from the harbour. Suddenly, a bird flew out of the bracken and hit Percy's buffer beam with a thump. Ouch! exclaimed Percy. He wasn't hurt, but the poor bird fell beside the line. They stopped, and the driver put the bird in his cab. It had been badly hurt, and they decided to take it to a vet. Driver thought it was a pheasant, Percy told Thomas sadly. It scared me bursting out the hedge like that. Pooh, scoffed Thomas. Poor little Percy. Fancy being frightened by a bird. If I met a bird like that, I'd just blow steam at it. A few weeks later, Thomas saw a flock of large white birds flying across the railway, their necks stretched far ahead of strongly beating wings. He wondered what they were. They're swans, said his driver. Swans were royal birds once, and some still belong to the Queen. What does she want them for? Thomas asked. And why are they here? Did she bring them when she came to see our railway last year? His driver laughed. No, Thomas, he said. Only the swans on the river near her castle belong to her. But all swans are protected birds. That means no one must harm them. But what if we ran into one by accident, like Percy's pheasant, said Thomas. The driver scratched his head. I don't know, he said. I think I'd rather not find out. Next day, Thomas stopped for water at the station by the river. As the water gurgled into his tank, Thomas saw something ahead of him, on the bridge. It looked like an old newspaper. It's a very clean old newspaper, thought Thomas as he started away. But his driver had noticed it too. Suddenly, he put the brakes on. When they stopped, Thomas realised that it wasn't a newspaper. He was face to face with a large, very cross swan. Sss! said the swan. Oof! exclaimed Thomas in alarm. His driver and fireman climbed down from the cab and went carefully forward. The swan struggled to its feet and came towards them. Thomas tried to back away, but he couldn't. His driver and fireman had problems of their own. The swan arched its neck and spread one wing wide. Sss! it said again. Thomas jumped and let off steam. This made the swan crosser than ever, and it pecked at Thomas's driver. The driver and fireman hurried back towards the cab. The driver climbed up while the fireman went back to the station for help. The bird's got a broken wing by the look of it, the driver explained. It flew into the parapet of the bridge, I expect. The station master telephoned the vet, who, with a friend and some difficulty, managed to carefully move the swan and clear the line. I thought you weren't scared of birds, said Percy in the shed that night. Thomas smiled knowingly. I wasn't scared, I was just being careful, Thomas replied. Why, it might have been one of the Queen's own swans. You wouldn't have wanted me to hurt that, would you? Thank you.